I'm going to demonstrate a device that produces static charge using electrostatic induction called the electrophorus. This is a device that uh, Volta uh, improved on, popularized, and named, although he did not invent it. Here's an electrophorus. So it consists of a non-conducting plastic plate, a conducting disc with an insulating handle. Now, I can take a piece of silk and rub the plastic, and we know what will happen is that there will be a transfer of electrons from the silk to the plastic. So now I have this negative charge on, on the plastic. Now if I put the conducting disc down, there really won't be too much transfer of electrons from the plastic to the disc because microscopically there's not a lot of contact between the uh, metal and the plastic and the charge on the plastic really can't flow along the plastic to the, the contact point. So what will happen is the negative charge on the plastic will push the electrons up so that the top part of this plate is going to be negatively charged and the bottom part positively charged. And what I can do now is touch the top here and I will give a path for the electrons on the top surface to go to ground and what will remain is the positive charge on the bottom of the plate. Okay, so now I can take this and put it up to an electrometer and actually show you that there is a charge on this metal disc. Now I bring the positively charged plate towards the electrometer and you can see indeed I'm inducing a charge on it as we have a deflection of the gold leaf. Here's an illustration of what's happening in the electrophorus. Here is looking edge on on the plastic plate that has been charged so we see the negative charges here on the surface. Now I'm going to bring this conducting disc in so again we're looking edge on on the conducting disc like this and we'll get in close proximity here and what will happen then is that the electrons here on the surface will repel electrons in the metal disc resulting in a positive charge along the bottom of the plate. So here's those positive charges. So the electric flux density lines will go between the positive charges on the bottom of the plate and the electrons here. And in fact, even if this metal plate is resting on the plastic plate, microscopically it's only making contact in a few places. And the electrons can't really flow along the surface of this uh, non-conductor to those contact points, so you're really not going to get a movement of this negative charge onto the plate. Well, at this point the plate is still has no net charge, so what also has to happen then is that the negative charges are going to the negative charges are going to appear on the top of the plate where the electric flux density lines will reemerge. So remember in a static situation we cannot have any electric field lines inside the metal here otherwise we would have a current flow. Now I can come in and touch this metal conductor and thereby giving a path to ground for these electrons and thereby I can remove the negative charges on the top surface of the plate and the result will mean that there's a net positive charge now on the electrophorus and I can remove this now and take it and deposit it, that charge somewhere and use it but note I have not changed the negative charge on the surface so I can repeatedly do this process of bringing this metal plate in grounding it, getting an induced positive charge on it, taking it away, using that charge and coming back and forth as, as many times as I want because this negative charge will reside on the surface of this insulator for a, a very long time. 